Sean Zatel, BoxingVoice.com, here with one of the best in the business, Showtime. Sean Porter, fresh out a hell of a victory. You got the TKO stoppage in the ninth round against Andre Berto. Big fight, big big win right there. Uh, you're talking about a warrior guy who we've seen, you know, standing there and and uh, take a lot of uh, a lot of heat from from some guys and just wouldn't go down, wouldn't stop. Uh, I was able to accomplish that the other night. I, I think that more than anything is uh, all that needs to be said about that fight. Berto, Broner, Pauli Malinaji, Devin Alexander, the resume has gotten good. Yeah, I, I tell people, man, um, you know, to you guys it's a resume, but to me it's the next guy that they put in front of me that I have to beat. You know, uh, every every fight is a must-win fight. You know, you everyone talked about this fight between myself and Andre Berto uh, about it being a must-win fight for the both of us and, you know, on, so on and so forth, but the fact of the matter is, is uh, since day one uh, of my professional career, it's always been uh, a win, a, a must-win fight. You know, so um, we got this one out of the way, um, and uh, you know we're, we're still enjoying the victory, of course. But um, pretty soon it'll be time to move on. It was just like I said, you have a good resume, former world champion. But am I wrong, or is Sean Porter still searching for that that big career-defining moment right now? Is that what makes you hungry? Yeah, you know, I I, I did an interview uh, some months back, and they asked if I if I had that big fight. I told them no, and I thought that after I beat Devin Alexander for the IBF, I thought that that would kind of you know be a a, a really you know big defining moment for me. But and it certainly was not. I feel like you know we get this rematch against Keith Thurman. It's for the WBC title. Um, that's one of my goals before I, I is, is to win that title, you know, so uh, if we were getting the ring with him be him uh, avenge that loss and and uh, Get that WBC title that could probably be you know for for me a career-defining fight But for now um, definitely this Andre Berto fight was a, a really big uh, pivotal fight for us Now I don't know if you got a chance to see Keith uh, in Brooklyn that weekend, but watching on the couch Keith looked like he put a little weight on yeah. uh, I hope you guys can see my weight uh, right now uh, it's just a part of it, you know. Uh, my my team, uh, we, we had lunch, I think, third Wednesday. And uh, collectively, we, we understand that, you know, we still want to pay attention to scale. We still want to stay in shape. Um, we want to have fun, enjoy the victory, uh, take some time off, you know, just to recuperate, recover, and uh, re-energize the battery, but ultimately stay fit and uh, stay ready to go, you know. So uh, I'm already back moving. I'm not in the, at, back at the PHPC yet, but I am definitely back moving and uh, trying to keep my weight under control and, and trying to make sure I stay uh, stay where I need to be. Now I had to ask you about Keith's weight because he uh, during the telecast he said he didn't want to fight till November. I, I, I hate to ask you so much about another man's career, yeah. but do you think he's not all that anxious to have a rematch report, really to get in the ring right now? You know what? I, um, after his fight, um, I was told shortly after that, heard through the grapevine that he wanted to get in, back in the ring in September. That made sense to me. But since then, I've heard November, and I've, I've actually seen him say November, and I'm just kind of like, man, why do you want to wait so long, you know? Um, excuse me. We had a few cuts uh, due to the headbutts. We're going to let those heal. As soon as we get clear, as soon as we're able to spar and everything's okay, we'll look at getting back in the ring, you know? So we're looking at getting back in the ring early fall, not late fall. You know, I don't want to wait too long. I want to um, ride this this wave, this roller coaster, and and enjoy it. You know. You got a lot of credit for this win, taking Alberto. Do you feel like that was the best Sean Porter, or you could be even better? That was a very good Sean Porter. I would tell you that. Um, I still, uh, I, I still got hit. You know, uh, the, the 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 name of the game is to hit and not get hit. You know, uh, I have to stay true to that creed. You know, uh, so even though you saw a very very good Sean Porter, it wasn't the best Sean Porter. Uh, I definitely think that. Uh, uh, we made some strides since the Keith Thurman fight. Uh, we've improved since the Keith Thurman fight. Uh, only thing to do now is make Keith get back in the ring with Sean Porter so y'all can see the improvement. What, what do you think of this one? What if Al and the team comes to you and they say, Danny wants the fight? He wants that number one contender spot you got. Do you put that up for grabs in a fight with Garcia, or do you say, you got to wait, Danny, I want this rematch with Thurman first? If, if, if Keith isn't budging, if Keith isn't saying he wants to fight me, yes, we move forward and we fight uh, Danny Garcia. I think right now he is, to me, the probably th number three or number four guy out there in my weight class in my division. Uh, and still a, a very great fighter, very good fighter. Uh, you know, he lost to Keith Thurman, but he, he didn't lose by a landslide. He wasn't completely shut out or anything like that. He didn't get hurt by Keith, you know. So I think that fight, uh, Showtime Sean Porter versus uh, Danny Garcia, would be a good fight 
definitely a, a great fight for the fight fans. Great style matchup, wouldn't you say? I think so. Um, we we box outbox him. Um, we we put a hurt on him as well, you know. So uh, that's definitely a fight for the future. But if it's up to you, is Thurman next? Yeah, man, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. I gotta I gotta be able to get back in the ring with him and and sh and show and prove, you know. Um, I can talk about it on camera. I can say everything that I, I've, I've been working on, but only way uh, for you guys to know everything that I'm talking about is by getting in the ring with him and, and doing it. I think that, uh, you know, he got it that night, you know. Um, it wasn't a gift. He, he, won no, he won the fight. He got he got it that night. Um, but, you know, there's always another night. And the good part about it is I'm still healthy. I'm still young. I'm still hungry. I want that fight. So it, we got to do it again.